Hello what's up guys it is Dr Mozam Tiwana here and in today's class we are going to talk about the standardization and the use cases of 5G systems now talking about the standardization of 5G it is very important to know, to know the role of two important organizations the first organization is international telecommunication union uh, which is abbreviated as ITU ITU is an organization of the united nations and uh, the more important is the red radio communication sector of the ITU which is known as the ITUR because ITUR is responsible for the development of the uh, requirements for the 5G system because earlier for the 3G systems in the year 2000 uh, this organization developed its requirement as IMT 2000. In the year 2008, it developed the requirements of 4G system as IMT Advanced. And in the year 2015, it developed the requirements of the 5G system as IMT 2020. So we are more interested in the requirements uh, as IMT 2020. Now, these requirements are then taken by the third generation partnership project, which is abbreviated as the 3GPP. What is 3GPP? 3GPP is an organization which is a consortium of the major telecom vendors and the operators of the world. For example, Siemens, uh, Huawei are the examples of the telecom vendors and France Telecom is the example of a telecom operator. So, uh, this consortium of 3GPP basically uses these 5G's requirements and then develops the technical specifications of the system that would meet those requirements. Like uh, the system, this system would use which modulation scheme? This system would use which radio uh, protocol or which data protocol in order to meet those uh, requirements? And afterwards, uh, when these technical specifications are finalized, then vendors take these technical specifications to develop their equipments so that their equipments are in harmony with one another and can operate with one another in a harmonious manner. Now, talking about the evolution in the mobile communication systems from 1G to 5G systems, the major factor, the key factor that is driving this evolution is the need for more and more data rate as required by the users. For example, when we talk about the GSM system, GSM was the second generation system and GPRS was added as an add-on on the GSM system. And uh, when GPRS was added to the GSM uh, system, G when GPRS technology was added to the GP GPS, uh, GSM system, uh, it was called as the 2.5G. And a user experienced a data of 50 kilobits per second in the normal uh, conditions. Then uh, GPRS evolved into the edge, which is known as the 2.75G and user data rate increase to the 150 kbps and then we shifted from 2g to the 3g technology and in the 3g technology uh, user experience data rate was 384 kbps uh, and then 3g evolved into the 3g hspa uh, with a user data rate of 10 mbps and which then evolved into the 3g umts HES, hspa plus with the data rate of 20 M mbps 20 megabits per second and then we moved from 3g to the 4g and in the uh, case of 4g uh, in the case of lt technology uh, a user experience data rate was between 20 20 to 50 mbps and then lte basically uh, evolved into the lt advanced where the peak targeted data rate for a user was uh, 1 gigabits per second 1 gigabits per second but actual data rate that user a user experienced in the normal conditions was in some low 100 mbps in a uh, few 100 mbps and then uh, the uh, 5g comes and in the 5g the target peak data rate is 20 gigabits per second uh, but in a realistic uh, scenario the data that is experienced by the user 
uh, is in uh, high hundreds of megabits per second. 